Gentlemen, as you know, this is not the first time the Congress has dealt with this issue. Five years ago, those who are serving as CEOs uh, then of your uh, companies uh, were asked, I specifically got into it, whether they agreed with President Bush's statement. And I quote here, with $55 oil, we don't need incentives for oil and gas companies to explore. And conditions today are pretty much like they were in 2005. Record profits, uh, price hikes, certainly above inflation. And Mr. Mulva, you'll recall you were at the hearing, and what I'd like to do uh, briefly for the committee, uh, Mr. Chairman, is actually replay the uh, portion of that hearing where the oil company CEO said they did not need incentives from the federal government when oil was at $55 a barrel. If we could just show that video briefly. The President Thanks. says, and I quote, with $55 oil, we don't need incentives to oil and gas companies to explore. There are plenty of incentives. Now today, the price of oil is above $55 per barrel. Is the President wrong when he says we don't need incentives for oil and gas exploration? If I could just have a yes or no answer and go right down the road, beginning with you, Mr. Raymond. Is the President wrong? No, and I don't think our companies ask for any incentives for exploration. Sir? Agreed. In my uh, oral comments, I said we do not need, but we do need, though, is access. Just, just a yes or Access, no. yes. Sir? No. President's uh, correct? He's correct. Sir? Yes, he is. All right. Mr. Mulva, you were there. You specifically said in 2005, Senator, with respect to oil and gas production, we do not need incentives. So oil is now right around $100 uh, a barrel. And my question, I want to start with you, Mr. Mulva, because of your uh, history. If your company didn't need incentives to drill for oil at $55 a barrel, how in the world can you possibly need incentives when oil is at $100 a barrel? In response to the question several years in the past, we don't view the items that we're talking about, foreign tax credits, Section 199, and intangible development cost. We don't view those as uh, subsidies. We essentially view those as similar types of uh, provisions that are made available to other companies, all industries, in a similar way. So we don't need incentives to drill.